Hello, my name is Joseph Lee, and I major in international business. I'll be presenting my final presentation today. I will start off with the tourism product presentation. I went to the Tangaluma Island tour, which is located in Australia. Um, it had the free resort activities, you could feed the dolphins, and you could also have the water-based activities. The free resort activities is considered as an absence of ownership because you can equip, you can um, hire equipments, uh, you could use the swimming pools, and you can use the tennis court, but you can't really take it home with you, so that's why I considered it as an absence of ownership. Next is the dolphin feeding. Um, it's considered as an unstable demand because you can feed dolphins and take photographs, but this can only happen if you if the weather is stable and it's it's the environment is not dangerous and that's why it's considered as an unstable demand. Finally, the water-based activities. This is considered a risky tourism product because you can scuba dive or you can snorkel and parasail but when you scuba dive or snorkel there are shipwrecks under the ocean and if you get too close to it you may potentially get injured, so that's why I consider it risky. Next is my travel motivation presentation. It included the cultural experience and relaxation. My memorable travel journey was in the Jeju Island. This year I went there and took pictures in the museum I also went by the ocean side and take pictures over there as well. The conceptualization of the plan. There are real there is a relaxing place, it's not too far away and it's family friendly. Next is another presentation for the Jeju Island with our group members. The tour will go last for two nights and three days. The reason why we chose Jeju Island is because it has many tourist attractions and many factors to attract foreign attention. For the self-actualization, the self-actualization of this Jeju Island tour is that you can see Hello Kitty accessories from every room on the Hello Kitty Island watch painters here show over there and enjoy the Jeju Snow Festival Jeju Snow World Festival on the third day. For the esteem, the esteem of the tour is that there are specialties from Jeju Island you can experience, understand the culture of the citizens living there. You can also learn the different dialect of the citizens who use it only in the Jeju Island. For the love and belonging, belonging, the love and belonging of the tour is that you get to visit the famous Love Land, an outdoor sexy sculpture park created by the group of art school grads from art school graduates from Seoul Hongit University, and this is for 18 years old and above only. 70 years and 17 years old and below are not allowed to enter. They may stay at indoor game area. For the safety, the safety of Jeju Island Tour is the guarantee of the tour guide. And for the phys physiological, the physiological factors are eating breakfast and dinner in the hotel, drinking coffee or tea from the Hello Kitty Island, squid pork bulgogi or using self barbecue buffet in the hotel on the thir third day and use a four-star hotel accommodation facilities. And this is the presentation for the Japanese tourism pandemic. 
for the COVID. So before the pandemic, the influence of boycott and the consumer strike from the countries in Asia, especially Korea, which was their leading consumer. The transportation fee dropped as the rate went down together. With lack of demand, Japanese tourism went down the road. During the pandemic, areas subjected to entry ban, foreigners who stayed in the area listed in the table 14 days before entering Japan are denied unless there are special circumstances. The denial of the re-entry from desi designated two countries in response to COVID-19 variants of special treatment on board measures. Refusal to re-enter the countries designated in response to the COVID-19 strain on borders measures. The quarantine measures. Currently, quarantine measures have been strengthened and the current state will be min maintained until further notification is made. The suspension of visa validity. Visa from a specific area entering Japan will be temporarily suspended. Suspension of the visa exemption measures. As the visa expansion exemption measure is temporarily suspended, those who fall under the measure must obtain a visa before visiting Japan. Restrictions on airports for arrival. Japan has announced several measures regarding arrival at airports. Among them, Korea is included. The Japanese government is requesting airlines in countries such as China and Korea to comply with the restrictions and set that each airport takes mitigation measures, saying the restrictions are well implemented. Entry of foreign nationals with special exceptional circumstances. Foreigners with special circumstances must contact the Japanese embassy or consulate in the country to obtain a visa to enter Japan. State of emergency. Japan's state of emergency was completely lifted on October 1st, 2021. And also, during the pandemic, they organized to do the Tokyo Olympic game. However, despite the organizers stating that it could be held safely, the Olympic was planned to be cancelled due to COVID-19, but it wasn't in the end. Government revitalization with Corona. Traveling to Japan is allowed, but you still need the two week self quarantine. Improve the Japanese economy by creating a flow of people from urban to rural areas, and increasing income in rural areas and conducting regional revitalization through such measures as reforms to tourism and agricultural industries. This is the end of the presentation, and thank you for listening.